Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Berserker, issue number eight, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with B inside of Protocol X. The box Codwell put him in, well, B went in there voluntarily, of course, two miles deep into the ground to dig into B's memories of his origins and to pinpoint where exactly he was conceived in or what cave he was conceived in. In the previous issue, it's established that B has a really good memory. I mean, awesome memory. He remembers events, but not the exact time of the events. I mean, come on, when you live for 80,000 years, it's got to be a challenge to remember what happened a thousand years ago. Heck, I even have a hard time remembering what I had for breakfast later on in the day. Some of you have that challenge too, <laughs> but mostly it's coffee and, and a few snacks or something like that just to get the day going. And I am a coffee junkie, so if any of you guys want to buy me a cup of coffee, link in description, I'll give, some, I'll give you guys a shout out. But going back to the review, as B gets more intense energy blasts while they're going back into his memory, energy emissions get more intense. Intense to where energy emits two miles deep out to the surface. The team has to fall back and retreat because there's no telling how much damage is going to cause. Caldwell is intrigued by this research despite the apparent danger. Kiever is like, nah, bro, we could. It's not safe out there. We've got to pull all our men back. Caldwell wants to see this with his own two eyes and tells Diana to get ready. Diana is like, what? Really? Get ready for this is too much. The black energy line that B is knowingly or unknowingly from this intense procedure called Protocol X zigs and zags and weaves to their vehicle. It looks to latch on the keyboard, then bypasses him for Diana as we see her take it in. That pedal doesn't look like she's in pain from it. Perhaps it happened so quick there was just no time to react to it. When Kiever and Cottle look out, all seems to be calm and restored. Then boom, another explosion of energy happens from two miles deep, creating a crater in the earth. That looks pretty awesome right there. 20 minutes later, reinforcements come in. Caldwell has Diana taken away after what happened to her earlier. Perhaps gonna research her, make me give her medical care, but you just get this uneasy feeling with this guy. We later get confirmation of this when Kieber tells Caldwell with his head down that he lost 11 men. I mean, you can tell he's feeling bad about it. Caldwell coldly reminds him that we all know the risk. Kieber's like, we know the risk on the field up, but this, the WTF is this. Caldo explains that this is evolution of humanity, Kieber, hinting that this is where we are looking to find out bees' true origins. Really? A two mile crater in the earth is an evolution of humanity, bees' true origins? I mean, all right, bruh, this could be more intriguing or not. So we got to stick around for the ride. I mean, I'm kind of digging it, but it's also like, where are we going with this too? Which is what's keeping me on edge here. As the helicopter lands, they both climb down to extract B from the box. Coddle then proceeds to tell Kiever that his thinking is too narrow. If he doesn't see the big picture, this operation is beyond your purview, which is why Coddle says that this is the reason he is here. He pushes some buttons, a code to open the box, and I love Kiever's clapback. Come back to Kyle. Is this still in your purview, bro? The box is empty where B is supposed to be. It may be the first time Kyle has his foot in his own mouth and he doesn't know what happens next or what's going to happen next or how to explain this one. In this panel, we get a flashback as we go back further and further in time from 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, as Earth climate changes with the times 20, 30, 40,000 years ago. 60,000 years ago, B is standing at the cave where he was birthed at. Then 80,000 years ago, we see his mother with the lightning strike energy foreplay without the foreplay quickness or with the foreplay quickness. <laughs> then at 80,000 years and five minutes ago, darkness will continue back with the flashbacks with 80,000 years ago and minutes, five minutes ago, six minutes ago, all going back to 80,000 years ago. Now we're going to see where this burst of energy is originating from. Now we get to 90, 100, and 200,000 years ago, we see B as energy form. I'm not sure if this is illustrating that B originated from outside of time and space since we're going back 20,000 years ago before being inside of his mom's uterus. I also do recall from school, I mean, I did fall asleep sometimes in class, but you shouldn't fall asleep in class. Take that as you will. I'm not advocating that, but who hasn't done it? Outer space has got to be billions of light years in terms of distance, and the galaxy being so large, how can we possibly explore all of it? Very interesting that this flashback ends with 400,000 years ago. Now, in present time, we see Caldwell talking to a spear and looking at video footage of 41 frames, and then frame 42 where Berserker just automatically disappears. Unu disappears. 
the result of protocol X, it could be perceived as a negative result, but Caldwell is looking at it differently. The spear is like, are you telling me we lost our best asset? That's what the spear is looking at. He's like, no, I want to assure you that the result does fall within the parameters and the scope of the research and projections. The spear doesn't see it that way. He sees it as the asset being lost. Caldwell's like, no, let me rephrase it. He's just not here. Unacceptable results. The sphere is not having it, but Caldwell breaks it down even further. Onut's disappearance is not a step backward. It is a giant step forward. They're on the precipice of looking at a new frontier. Onut unleashed a new energy with this new sample of hypercomputer that should theoretically be able to synthesize B's novel amino acids. The clones, he walks by some clones, may potentially be able to bring them viable. And a new synthesized self-regeneration blood is a non-atopic. And eventually animate a new assemblance. So in other words, he feels they got enough data to continue on with making other berserkers for the, to, for, for the government to fulfill their mission. And also, Caldwell ends with they have data and theories, and his best guess really is that Project B has breached the quantum realm and is currently maybe temporarily lost him, but he tethered a link that they can exploit, a link that can reach through time and space. Exploiting B to make first contact was always one of the goals, finding out B's true origins, which just makes sense. Have they succeeded? He believes so. Now we see B going back a million years ago and two million years ago. And we just see B in this quantum realm in darkness asking for his father, which is very interesting. I mean, this is definitely taking a left shift where we start off with this book and being brutal AF. Now we're going back into B's origins. So we end this issue with Kawa believes they haven't lost their chance of making first contact with B. He's built a radio to start a conversation with it. And he opens up this capsule and we see Diana's inside. And he asks her, Diana, can you hear me? As she opens her eyes and that's where we end this issue to be continued. And I believe this is the end of the story arc of Berserker. My thoughts, I mean, the way the direction is going, I'm still intrigued by it. I personally thought the brutality and the John Wick on steroids words with B was just what draw me in but as you get more invested with the story I am more invested to see what's going on I mean I'm already two-thirds into the book eight issues in this is a 12th issue series I gotta finish it through to see how this story ends but I think I kind of dig it but we'll see where this goes and what the direction it goes and for all we know there could be a plot twist in all this comment below let me know what you guys thoughts are link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection that being said berserker issue number eight what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also if you like the content we're throwing up you know what to do don't be shy and don't be stingy here rated comics we do awesome comic book reviews comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway thanks again for watching until next time